Now at 5.30, the pain at the pump continues. Gas prices are bad now, and they're expected to get even worse. AAA estimates that the national average for a gallon of gas is $4.33. In Pennsylvania, it's worse at $4.45. The lowest prices in the Delaware Valley appear to be in Dover, Delaware, but it's not cheap enough to keep drivers on the road. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute joins us from Center City. Jasmine, I can imagine, but I'm going to ask you, how are folks in our area feeling about the price of gas this evening? See, after those gas prices have people looking at other ways to get around. Some say they're walking. Others are turning to public transportation. With gas prices wreaking havoc on wallets across the country. The other day I went to fill up my car, and it was $70 to fill up my car. And I was like... Oh, that's a lot of money. The bus is turning. Philadelphians are looking at other ways to get from point A to B. Oh, it's impacting my budget. You know, I'm spending way more than what I would normally spend. According to AAA, Pennsylvania's gas average is 442, about 19 cents in the last week, while Philly's is now 445. Does the price make you consider maybe taking uh, public transportation? Yes, I am strongly considering it. I already got to set the key pass, so yeah, I'm considering. Taking at the work. And Denise Pines is not alone. According to SEPTA, ridership has increased with weekly pass sales up 11%. With gas prices uh, spiking, um, what we're hoping is that people will look at SEPTA and the options that we have to help save them from some of that pain that they're feeling at the pump. To help fuel ridership, SEPTA is offering 25% off weekly passes, one free transfer between bus, trolley, and subway, and new three day passes for people with hybrid schedules. Regardless of what the gas prices are, we think once they come in, have a positive experience, that they're going to come back. And it's not just SEPTA. The DRPA says PADCO ridership is up nearly 7%. It's good for the city. I mean, more people on public transportation, less gas, less uh, pollution, and so on. If gas prices has you considering ride sharing, Uber says they are adding a temporary surcharge of up to 55 cents because of these gas prices. That starts on Wednesday. We're live in Central City. Jasmine Pay UTBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you for the update, Jasmine. We'll see you again at 6. Now, before you start driving around to find cheaper gas, make sure you go to cbsfilly.com slash gas prices. We'll help you find the least expensive prices near your home.